evening everyone, Treasure Troller here. We're going to skip the uh, intro this time. So we got the ticket, the Taylor Swift thing out of the way. But I wanted to, to tell you the next idea I have. The next idea that even though no one watches this vlog and takes seriously, now that I'm going to bring it up, it's going to be mentioned now in the mainstream. So, and this is kind of out there. So if this one shows up, you know, you can, you can come at me and tell me that uh, I can't be serious. Because, you know, I haven't had any a bunch of new subscribers over the last year or whatever. Slight bit of sarcasm there. Slight bit of uh, tongue-in-cheek. But here's the thing. And I know only certain schools can do it. Only certain schools can do it, and um, it would only be for, like, certain games. But like this, uh, it's sort of a combination of the, uh, of the NFL flex schedule, which is they kind of decide in the beginning of the year, they... They have a couple different teams or a couple different different games scheduled, let's say at eight o'clock or something like that, and they pick sort of the best one as the season goes on, which one they're going to uh, we got a slap dick in front of us. Which one they're going to show so you don't get stuck with a really shitty game. So it's kind of based on flex scheduling, but it's like flex tickets. We have, you know, right now they have will call. You can buy the tickets and then they keep them at the box office and you buy them, you show up and you get them. Well, they should have a, a new thing that be flex tickets called a will, uh, will hold. So the will hold ticket works like this. The university, and I would say on the visitor's side, uh, definitely not the cheap ass nosebleed, but let's say there are tickets on the 20 yard line, 20 to 30 yard line. They keep, uh, they keep a bunch of those on a will hold. They don't release those tickets. They're on a will hold. For instance, the Michigan Michigan State game or the Michigan Ohio State game would be on a will hold. Maybe fewer tickets because it's a flex thing, we can add that in. So uh, maybe the Michigan Michigan State game would also be on a will hold, but maybe not quite as many tickets. They can release those earlier. But what they do is they keep these on a will hold basis until, let's say, Monday or Tuesday um, before the game. So I guess the Ohio State Penn State game is this weekend. So. Penn State has had a group of these tickets on will hold. Let, I, I guess the, the game, let's say, is at Penn State. So Penn State has these, these group of tickets on will hold. Turns out Penn State's undefeated right now, and Ohio State's undefeated. It's a really sought after ticket. So they wait until um, Monday or Tuesday, and they release the will hold tickets. But they can get a premium on those tickets. So not only will they make a lot more money on them, and so they re they really don't have a face value, so they're not actually scalping the tickets. And then, so they're they're getting a premium on these will hold tickets, and then they're also releasing these tickets out, which makes you know pisses StubHub off because they're actually in a sense driving the price of the tickets down. 
So if they would have had these will hold tickets for the Penn State Ohio State game, you wouldn't find seven or eight, you know, these seven or eight hundred dollar tickets out on SeatGeek or StubHub. You know, you, you may pay five hundred dollars for them. You're still going to pay a premium for them, but you won't be paying outrageously high prices because Penn State will release the will hold seats. So with that extra money, you got more money for your uh, for the other sports or whatnot, or you can even maybe somehow put that money back into um, uh, any type of cause you want, or maybe use somehow with for NIL. I don't know, but. That's the thing. They're going to come up with a will hold flex ticket where the universities are going to hold back a portion of the tickets and based on how they're doing and how the opponents are doing, they'll release them and price them accordingly. <coughs> so you heard it here first. You heard it here first. So when it comes out in a day or two in the paper on the mainstream, I don't want to hear the tongue-in-cheek comment. I don't want to hear it. So with that, this is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.